Hello everyone, again this is Mark, and welcome back to Towns. So, I've let some time pass by, let them uh, kind of get themselves sorted out, got all that harvested, pretty much all of this is harvested, it's growing back. I told them to harvest that and all of this. So they've got it all cleaned up, got all the barrels set up, put up a few more barrels. I've got this barrel here strictly for wheat. I've banned wheat from this one. So if we go in here, everything can go in it except wheat. I've got a cow in my kitchen. I've got more barrels here. So I've got six barrels dedicated to bread. I think they're dedicated. Uh, sorry, they're dedicated to everything except any fruits. I don't want fruits in these barrels. Fruits are not a viable food source for these guys. They're healthy for you, but they do not keep you filled. So this guy's got sugar cane in it, which is unfortunate. Don't know why it's unfortunate, but it just is. So we got some froggies. So what I want to do today is we need to make a hospital. And I'm just trying to see where the best place to put it would be. I think maybe over here. Because I'm going to have the way to the dungeon here. So I would want them to have to go through everybody else. So any bad guys that are following the dudes will have to just fight their way through everyone to get to the hospital. And I might just continue with the theme and build it into this mountain. We can have like, you know, kind of an underground layer type deal. So let's, let's do that. It seems like a good enough entrance. We'll stick with the original plan here. Do that. Bring it to there. And let's about get that. Hospital can be that big. And I don't like where I put that. my click all right and look at you carrying shit back oh see they can get in there so I didn't yeah yeah right here they can just pop in there but you know don't really care I'm gonna put you know a roof on here for them to hollow that all out. So as you can see, a lot of the bread is cleaned up because we've got 10 bread, 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. And then there should be another 10 sitting on the floor there at any given time. So I've got them up to 70. So where are we? Back, baking, 70 bread, they have 69. So that is great. So I think once I get this all sorted out, I am going to set them all to soldiers. Kind of let them just chill. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'll do that at the end of this episode. So these guys are definitely taking their sweet ass time. How do I have this? Oh, I've got hull way too high. Let's move that back down. So these guys shouldn't really be affecting. Butchering is pointless. So they should be mining pretty much before anything. Food first, mining next. I hate that they leave, they just leave a block. So 
like they get it all done except for one block. All right, zone, hospital. Oh, come on. <laughs> get it? There we go. Yes, you pick all that crap up. All right, why do I keep going in there? So let's put in a medicine cabinet. And a bed. The medicine cabinet helps them heal up a bit faster and so does the bed. I think it also increases uh, happiness as well. And anything that increases happiness, we're good with. So this is going pretty good. So... We're gonna eventually need to kill all these trees, but we'll leave them for now. The tree... There's always one tree that keeps disappearing. Pear tree. I swear, that tree was there. But, whatever. It's back now. We're all good. No one has to die. So, I don't know if they've got it set so that, you know, doors and walls increase happen. Well, I think walls do. I don't know about doors. So, let's see. It's a hobbit door. Oh. That's a fluid blocker. That's cool. Don't need a bone door. Alright, let's, let's do this. Give them doors on their personal rooms. There. Now they all have doors. Well, you know, once they build the doors, they'll have doors. So, anybody who's hurt should go to the hospital. So the Gregory here should go to the hospital and get healed up. Leo Frank. Alright, he should heal up. Yeah, Eleanor. Beatrix is doing good. So they're all also fully equipped. So I'm not too, too worried about them anymore. I don't think I really need anything else. I'm going to put doors on there. You know, just because I can. That's kind of neat. So, I think we're doing good. All we really need now is iron. Whoa, those are huge. <laughs> they go up too. Oh, well, I guess, yeah. <laughs> eh, whatever. I guess you would want them to go up too, because these guys can climb over one. So let's take a look at our stockpile here. Still have 69 bread. So what I also want to do is take out this jungle. Because, you know, it's hideous and unorderly. Let's start. Gutenbeet. Do I have a spot? I do have a spot. A Scootenbeaten. Make a nice little farm there. That way we always have a Scootenbeaten. 
These start on automatic mode. Oh, that's good. Tells you what it needs. And there's the furnace. Doesn't seem to be picking it up as much. There we go. So let's turn off automatic mode. Basically, if we left it on automatic mode, it would just continue spawning these guys, and my guys would constantly come over to feed them. And they feed them, well, I don't know about Scoot and Beatons, but the cows and pigs, they feed wheat. Alright, so. Uh, let us do some clear cutting. I'm going to plant some orderly trees, just build farms for everything. This way we can get a banana crop, some banana bush, banana trees. Let's do some harvesting. make some jungle salad with these guys. The blue radishes and bananas, I think. Let's see. Food. Mushroom soup. Cactus soup. Mountain stew. Jungle salad. Bananas and blue radishes. Yep. Yeah. Haven't really found a use for these mushrooms, but whatever. So, these giant jungle trees they'll take down. The bananas they will not. So it looks like they're harvesting first. I guess that's okay. Not in any particular rush to get this done. I completely hate these jungle trees. I think they're hideous. <laughs> so, we're just going to take them out, plant a few of them here, and completely and utterly ignore them. If you're in a desert, which we are not. Nah. I need all hands on deck over here. Come on. All right. You know what? There. That should get everybody over here. There's only eight of you, so you guys need to work harder. Alright. And perfect. There we go. I don't know what 
planting would fall under? Would it fall under gathering? Or to be like construction or something? I'm not sure. Alright, let's get rid of the rest of these hideous things. There. <laughs> just just take it out. Take everything out. I don't care. They're not going to need to harvest wood for a while, that's for sure. But yeah, at this point, A, the froggies have kind of gone all over the place. They're over there. Also, a lot of them have been killed. And I don't think that they respawn at all. Because for the most part, the other games I've played where I've done similar, just taken out the jungle. Once I destroyed them. Ooh, a spear. I kind of wish these guys would just auto pick up anything that's better than what they have. I think that would be a cool feature or an ability to set that. Always equip best. But they don't, so whatever. I will just have to suck it up. Uh, kind of wish the jungle didn't have so many holes in it. Mushrooms, not that we've ever used them, but you know, whatever. There might be a use for them later on. And that hopefully will clear up this area enough. Because I want to plant banana trees over here. food to last them for a while. Yeah, we still got 62 bread. And the radishes, I th think they can just eat. Perhaps. Make. At the very least, I can make a bunch of jungle salads. Do two. Jungle salads, or the radishes themselves, they can just eat. Mushrooms, they can just eat. Why is it showing none? They all... No, well, maybe they're all... They've all been eaten. Or grabbed to make, you know, jungle mushrooms. Alright, so there we go. cleaned up. Well, I guess for now, we will till what we can. No, I don't want it that far down. Dang it. <laughs> so there. Actually, that would be pretty good for the bananas. And we'll do that. We'll just destroy this wood. And till. And 
and this will be blue radishes. So yeah, that should be good. Now no more hideous trees. Just destroy those. I don't want them growing. I hate is them. Pick. Any more hideous trees. Destroy. Destroy. Except for these guys. And they can stay, because they're nice, neat, and orderly. Right. Carry on. Banana. I kind of wish you could transplant the bananas. Like, if I could have them heated, heated, have them planted up here. That would be awesome. But at least it's not far away. It's within the you know realm of my base. Blue radishes. Doo -doo -doo. Go away, rooster. It's just a matter of them planting. Uh, let's tell them to... I guess it'd be over here. Keep one of those, one of those. That's a cactus. It looks more like a lychee nut. One of those. Uh, let's actually take a look at the sugar cane. Sugar cane. So it can be on any of these. I really don't know what I would do with sugar cane. to reset the priorities soon. I don't want them to get too, too low. They still haven't harvested that guy. No. Priorities. Yeah, let's bring you back down. Kind of wish there was an easier way if you could just, like, drag them or something. Till that. So bamboo or sugarcane? Let's do bamboo. Or sugarcane. Dumbass. We're not planting that either. Gather bananas. Gather bananas. And cut. 
That should allow that to go. Good. Then some radishes. We will harvest all of this. There we go. And gather. Chop that one down. Chop that one down. Gather that. Chop and cut. I like my things in nice, neat, orderly fashion. So let's do that, and that can be bamboo once they do it. This game is quite interesting. I really enjoy it. It's very relaxing. Until, of course, you know, a siege happens or something insane. Or you do something really stupid. Which I have done <laughs> numerous times. And will more than likely do it again. But this time I'm trying to kind of take it slow. I've learned a lot from playing it. So... Quite interesting. I've never actually played a game like this. Like I said, a lot of people say it's like Dwarf Fortress. I've looked at Dwarf Fortress. I know people that have played Dwarf Fortress, but I have not. And I don't know if I ever would. So, I think at this point. It's just a matter of sitting here and watching them. And they've got all new doors. And it's beautiful. The cow has moved to the carpentry. So just gotta wait for them to fill in all of this. And then I'm gonna switch them all over to soldier view. And hopefully we'll get some new townies. There's a chicken in there. And they're back to making the flour. Not the flour. Well, they're making flour. Making bread. I want to get them up to this roast. Is that thing? Let's go to there. Let's go to there before I end it. Let's go in here. The roast is 150%. It's got a huge eat time. It's just a massive amount of food for them. And then I'm gonna need to figure out a method of keeping them alive while they're in the dungeon. I've had problems with these guys dying in the dungeon. I'm not sure if it's just they get confused and don't know how to come up or what. But I've had them just stand there. At one point, now this was in an older version, I had, basically, I had my kitchen, let's say, everything was like right here, and my pathway down to the dungeon was right here, and they were just on the next level below, starving to death, and they didn't walk up, go and get food, and we had food, like we had tons of bread. I think we had a couple roasts and everything, and they just sat there and died. So, I was confused. Now, I haven't had that happen in this version, but we'll see. We will see how that goes. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you all for watching. You guys have a great day. Take care.